are going to watch a video about a farm. And then we're going to write down all the animals we saw on the farm. So let's go to our video. Okay, I'm going to play the uh -huh. video and we must all be quiet while watching. Okay, we must be quiet when we watch. I'm going to cut. There we go. Can you hear the video? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Welcome to Purina Farms, a place inspired by the pets that connect us all. We are excited that you've come to see us today. We have so many pets that we want to introduce you to. Our pets come in many sizes, shapes, and breeds. We have cows, pigs, horses, rabbits, cats, and of course dogs. Each brings their own unique personality and ability to the property. But there's one thing that they all have in common. They make life better. They help us see and experience the world in so many amazing ways. Is there anything better than watching a horse graze in the pasture? Or milking a cow? Or watching an amazing canine athlete snag a disc right out of the air? Today, you get a front row seat to all of this. So sit back and relax and let's get started. Come on in. Hi, Sam. Hi, Katie. I brought some of my friends with me that would love to see some farm animals. Hi, friends. Wait a second. Do you hear that? It sounds like Shelby is ready to be milked, our dairy cow. And I would so love a glass of milk right about now. Looks like we're just in time. Shelby's just about ready to get up into the milking stand. Shelby's three years old and weighs 1,500 pounds. Shelby's a dairy cow and she has had two calves, which helps her to produce milk. Dairy cows can produce 25 gallons of milk a day. That's over 400 glasses of milk. All right, first thing we're gonna do is, I'm washing her off with iodine and water. This is to clean any dirt or anything off of her. Then I'll get a little, what I'm doing here is stimulating her to let her milk down and also checking to make sure that there's no clumps or anything in there that would say that she has mastitis, a disease that uh -huh. was something we'd have to treat her for. It would be clumpy, but she is clean. It's actually a relief to the cow to get the pressure off. You can see how tight her bag is here right now. And then after we get done milking, this will be kind of all sucked up and loose again. Now, this will hook up. Would you like to stick your finger in there, Sam, and see how this thing works? I sure would, Yes, Dale. look, see how that is? Whoa. Yes, it's like a vacuum cleaner, yeah. right? Yes. Now, we will hook all of her up on here, but when I was a youngster many years ago, my dad, we had a cow that we milked. He milked by hand these front two for milk for the family and the calf we had would nurse off the back too so it had food uh, to eat for them so it was a share and share alike thing we heated that in the morning and evening good girl. Good girl. she approximately eats 70 pounds of grain and hay every day and you will notice that we'll feed her here a time or two because she'll eat approximately 20 pounds already it's a mixture of silage, and silage is the thing where it's corn stalks when it's green, and then it's put into like a ferment, fermenting stage, and then they bring it over for the cows to eat. Water-wise, you have a big bathtub in your house, Sam? I sure do. Okay, if we fill that up with water, it'll be about 30 gallons of water in there, and that is how much water she will drink every day. So there are, wow. they, they like drinking water. It's a necessity to make milk. She's been doing about 45 to 50 pounds, and that is four to five gallons of milk. She does this breed, the Holstein, is the most popular in the U.S., with approximately 90% of dairy farms having Holstein cattle. And the main reason is the amount of milk they give. They have uh, distinctive markings, black and white, but they're not, uh, they're kind of like fingerprints. They're not marked the same. Also, another piece of trivia about a cow, they have 32 teeth, they do not actually bite their food. They take their tongue and wrap it around 
the grass or the hay and pull it back to them. Now here you are, Sam. When I was a youngster, we drank it this way, but anymore it should be pasteurized. Pasteurization is heating it up to like 155 degrees. Okay, so students, over there we have the cow. Yes, cow. What does the cow give us? Who can tell cow. me? Where it takes. What does it give us? Milk. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, let's carry on. Kill the germs and whatnot yeah. in it. And they do other things like add vitamin D and things like that to milk nowadays. But if you probably took that and took it home, you could watch the cream come up to the top yeah. when it gets cold. Thanks, Dale. You're welcome. All right, we've got horses and donkeys and a miniature horse down this way. Sounds like they're getting a little bit jealous of all the time we spent with Shelby. Hi, Tara. Hi, Sam. Who are these best buddies here? This here is Eeyore and Olaf. Let me introduce you to them. This here is Eeyore. Eeyore has been here since he's been born. He is a Sicilian donkey. Okay, so students, we have Eeyore. What is Eeyore? Oh. Donkey! Yeah, he's a donkey! Okay, let's keep donkey. listening. Donkey. Eeyore donkey. loves donkey. to eat hay donkey. and donkey. apples donkey. as treats donkey. and carrots. Tara, I see Eeyore donkey. has a lot of hair on him. How do you take care of him? We brush them down every day, and he doesn't have much of a uh, mane, but we also do comb their manes out as well, and their tails. He's also got some pretty snazzy bangs, I see. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so this here is Olaf. He is our miniature horse we have here. Okay, so next we have Olaf. Olaf! Yeah, Olaf from Frozen. Olaf! Olaf, Olaf. Olaf. is a miniature horse. horse. Miniature horse. Miniature, horse. miniature, miniature means horse. little. So he's a small miniature. horse. So Olaf is the miniature horse. Maybe. Okay, let's keep listening here at the farm. He came to us from Longmeadow Rescue Ranch about a year or so ago. Tara, is it true that Olaf likes to dress up like a unicorn? Yes, actually for birthday parties we dress him up as a unicorn and he loves the attention. Anytime someone comes in here he's always wanting to rest his head on you and you and Olaf act like big puppy dogs very affectionate. Now this guy is a lot bigger than Eeyore and Olaf. Wow, Tara, what kind of horse is this? He is a thoroughbred paint horse. Okay, so over here we have a normal horse. This is the normal horse. Yeah. Normal. If you listen, this horse is a racing horse. So they race with the horse. Yeah. Let's listen. So this is Fibs. Yes. Mr. Fibs likes to eat uh, some grain in the morning and at night. And during the day, we turn him out to pasture so he gets some nice yeah. grass. And then at nighttime, we give him some hay Chew. so he can munch on in the stall. And Chew. for treats, we like to give him some apples. Wow, I didn't know horses could have treats. Yes. Mr. Yeah. Fibs was a uh, racehorse at one time. So he is a retired here at the farm now. And Gabe is his best friend out in the pasture. They came here on the same day, so they're very bonded <laughs> pair. So Fibs has got the good life now. Yes. From fast track to the slow pace of Karina Farm. Yes. All right, so this is Gabe. Gabe is Mr. Fibs's best friend. Wow, Tara, he is huge. Yes. Gabe is actually a Pertron, which is a breed of draft horse. They breed draft horses to pull carts. Yeah. And an interesting fact, back in the day, they used them in medieval times for knights. Oh my god. Wow. Gabe likes to go out in the pasture and eat grass all day and play with his best friend Fibs out in the pasture. He also yeah. likes to uh, Cuddle anyone who comes up to his stall. He sure 
sure is a big boy. I've invited a very special guest from Longmeadow Rescue Ranch to introduce our foster pony. Please meet Amanda. Thank you. Okay, so students, these are called ponies. Amanda. Pony. This is Amanda. Oh. Amanda, Amanda with the ponies. Now, a pony is, you have miniature horse, pony, horse. So a pony is not small, but not big, it's in the middle. Yeah, so these are the ponies. This is Dot, and Dot is a three-year-old Pony of America, probably mix. Um, and Smokey here is a four-year-old Pony of America. And they actually came into Longmeadow Rescue Ranch um, back in November of 2018. Um, they were part of a huge rescue. We had 17 horses that were rescued. And they then brought the animals to Longmeadow. And they were also really young when they came in. So they needed some time to just hang out, get to be healthy horses, um, get lots of love and attention. And that is why we brought them here to Perina to be in their foster program. So here they get lots of TLC. Um, and then pretty soon they'll be able to be started um, in their training for riding. They, as you can see, are, are very friendly. What's all that commotion over there? Do you hear the oinks? Must be our two favorite pot belly pigs having a ball in the stall. Yeah, we know those ones. Pigs. Yeah. I am excited to introduce you to these two best buddies. So we have Matilda over here and Scarlett, and they are also being fostered here at Perina. We tend to have more pigs. Um, at Longmeadow than we're able to place in homes. We are so fortunate to have these pigs here at Perina Farms because it frees up space at Longmeadow where we can then help bring more pigs in that need help uh, being placed into a new home as well. So Scarlett and Matilda like to eat their grain that they get twice a day. They also like to eat alfalfa hay, fresh vegetables, and also treats that we give them. They also get fresh water every single day. So in here is where they like to sleep and cool down during the day. And then outside, they like to go potty and then play in their kiddie pool. Are you ready for the cute and cuddly? We've got a variety of rabbits here at Purina Farms. Meet Dale. He is eight years old and he's a Netherland dwarf. Okay, so we know what those are. Rabbits. You are the Netherland dwarfs. Rabbits. Okay, let's, let's look at We know that rabbits are born with their eyes closed and without fur. Now, the proper way to hold a rabbit is to make sure that you're supporting their legs and then take your other hand and hold them over their scruff and hold them close to your chest so they feel really comfortable. A rabbit's diet consists of the following. First, you always want to make sure that you have plenty of fresh water for your new furry friends. An abundance of Timothy hay. Then we also provide them with a good, high quality rabbit pellet feed, as well as fruits and vegetables. Now this rabbit is Velvet. Velvet's a Rex rabbit. Velvet got his name from having such a soft, soft, velvety fur. I could really use some farm fresh eggs. Let's go check in on the chicken. Did you know chickens can lay up to 300 eggs a year? How excellent. This is a female chicken. A chicken, do we like chicken? Yes. yes, I like chicken. Me too. I okay. like... Okay, let's look at our chicken. Female chicken is I called like a hen. Chicken. A male chicken is called a rooster. The rooster is the one that wakes you up first thing. So we know we have a rooster. Rooster. Rooster is a boy rooster. chicken. So a boy a chicken. Boy chicken. And a, a girl, boy chicken. And a girl chicken is a hen. In the morning when the sun shines. Okay. Roosters aren't the only. So this one, this is the girl chicken, and she's a hen. Okay. 
only ones that make noise. Chickens are regular chatterbugs. They cackle, grumble, and murmur. Well, now that I'm out of the doghouse, there's Jess. I hear that you're going to introduce us to some cool cats and incredible dogs. We do have some cool cats and incredible dogs here at the Pet Center. Here at Purina Farms, we believe all cats are cool and all dogs are incredible, even yours at home. Cats are fascinating in the way that they experience the world. They wow. use their whispers to navigate. Oh, look at the cat. Do we like cat students? Yeah. Um, yeah. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Around areas like this cat house. Yeah. Their whiskers tell them how big or small spaces are, plus they can see at night. These two fabulous felines are spooky and patty. They are much like all the other house cats out there who sleep more than 16 hours a day. They came to us after a local rescue organization took them in. We agreed to foster them here in the hopes of them getting adopted. They are inseparable. Guinea pigs make great first pets because they are very Do you know what those are, students? They're called guinea pigs. Red. Guinea pigs. Hamster. No, not hamster. Guinea pigs. Guinea pigs. Guinea pigs. Hamsters guinea are pigs. small. Guinea pigs are big. So it's called a guinea pig. Guinea pig. Yes. Yeah, so they're easy listen. to care for. This is Chan, and Chan is a lot more laid back and just likes to be held or like sleeping, while Emerson over here is a little bit more rambunctious. Guinea pigs should have three main things a day, which is Timothy hay, pellets, and also veggies. Guinea pigs do not store or make their own vitamin C, so it's very important that they get that through their supplement of vegetables, such as romaine lettuce. When you're holding a guinea pig, you want to make sure that you are keeping their back level. You want to make sure that your hands are under their feet and you are holding them close to your chest so that they feel safe. I hear the music starting and that means it's time for the Purina Incredible Dog Show. I'm going to throw it down to Deb. Here's where the magic happens. Welcome to the Incredible Dog Arena where the best of the best canine athletes show off their abilities in three different sports. The first is diving dog, where they like to go the distance in the water. World record right now is 35 feet 10 inches. Our dogs are looking to beat that record. The second sport our dogs love to participate in is agility. They try to run as fast as possible through the obstacles without making a mistake. Even the little dogs like to get some runs in. But our dog's favorite sport is flying disc. They love to run, jump, and catch discs no matter where they are thrown. So sit back now and enjoy the show. As you can see, any dog can be an incredible dog. It does not matter what breed they are or where they come from. You can get a dog from a rescue, a shelter, or a breeder. They can all be incredible dogs. It all comes down to proper training, good nutrition, and lots of love. What a fun day we had. We got to meet horses and cows and pigs and guinea pigs and cats and dogs. Each of our animals is unique and special, just like you. Don't ever forget that. Oh, wait a minute. 
My ride's leaving, I have to go. Thank you for joining us on the Purina Farms yeah. Pet Adventure. So let's get our papers and pencils ready. Or notebook, or notebook and pencil. And we're gonna go over the animals. Yes, we're going to write English club. English club. English club. Yes, English club. English. Okay, are we all done? No. No, okay. English club. We need. Very good. Okay, now let's go over the animals we saw on the farm. Yeah. No finish. Oh, okay, I'm hearing the no finish. Okay. Go. So first one. What no, animal no is it? No finish. Oh, I hear, sorry, sorry, sorry. We go back. English club. Yes, English club. club. Are we finished now? Finish. Yeah, finished. Yes. Okay, so first one. What animal do we have? Pig. 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 So we're going to write pig. 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 Oh, I'm still hearing no finish. Is everybody finished? Yes. Finish. No, are you finished? Oh. Oh, we're just waiting for snow. We're just waiting for snow. Finish. Okay, let's try that again. So what animal? We have a pig. pig. Yes, a pig. Oink, oink. We say no finish. Oink, oink. Oh, who is no finish English club? Ebas. Okay, Ebas, let me know when you finished. We say we need a pig. Where is Ebas? That is the pig. <laughs> yes. Hey, Bas, are you finished? I can't see you. <laughs> is Ebas finished, students? I can't see Ebas. Where is... Ah, there's Ebas. Are you finished, Ebas? Yeah. Okay, so first one, pig. Pig. Yes, are we all done with pig? Size the pig. Oink, oink. Yes. Finish. Okay. Okay, next one, next one, next one. Next one. What is this one? Cow. Cow. What sound does a cow make? Yes. And what sound does a cow make? What sound? Yeah. Cows go moo. Yes. <laughs> okay. Next one. Next one. What's this one? Horse. Horse. Number three. H O R S. Horse. Very good. I like horses. Do you like horses? Okay, oh. next one. Are you ready for number four? Yes. yes. Number four. What's that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Donkey. 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 Number four is a donkey. Okay, next one. Next one. 
Number five. What is that? Clothes. Clothes. Miniature horse. Miniature horse. Miniature horse. Very good. You see how it's so small. Miniature horse. Miniature is M I N I C H R. Miniature. Miniature. Okay, next one. Number six. Six. Are we ready for number six? No. Ready. No. Uh, I heard no. I heard no. no. So we're going to wait. Finish. Finish. Good no. job, boss. Finish. Finish. Okay. Okay. Everyone finished? Everyone. Very good. Everyone finished? Finish. Okay. Next one, number six. What is that? Rabbit. 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 Yes, rabbit. Rabbit. Very good. Rabbit. R A B B I T. Who's a rabbit? Snow, are you still a rabbit? Oh, Sal's a rabbit. I, I like rabbits. I had a rabbit. I used to have a rabbit. Okay. Very good. Very good, very good, everyone. Okay, next one. Seven. Chicken. 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 I like to eat 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 chicken. Me too. We like eat chicken. We like chicken. Okay, next one, next one, next one. Number nine. Cat. 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 Yes, it's a black cat. 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 Me too. I also like cats. I like cats. Phoenix. Very good. Okay, next one. Next one. Who remembers? No, not hamster. No. Very good. Guinea pig. Guinea pig. Guinea pig. G U I N A P I G. Guinea pig. Guinea pig. Guinea pig. Number ten. No. Let's see. Do we have a number ten? Number ten. No. 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 Very good. Okay, that's all of them. Oh. I see. It's meant to be number 10, not number 9. Oh. What happened? What happened? Hold on, we're going back. We're going back. This is meant to be 10, not 9. Sorry, student. 10. There we go. Number 10 was dog. 
Are we all finished? Yes. Uh, we just wait for Ebas. Ebas, are you finished? Very good. Okay, students, we are finished. Take photos of your words and send them to me. Thank you very much, everybody. Bye-bye. Okay, I will see you on Monday. See you Monday.